Hey guys, so welcome in the tutorial of SolidWorks. So today we are going to see that how can you add limit tolerance and angular tolerance to any geometry. So let's start, go to file and you can go to new, click on drawing and uh, you will look at this window now. Uh, browse the document on which you want to give the tolerances. So I have the documents which I have already made it. So let's place it like this. So as you can see, I have uh, this uh, geometry uh, on which I need to give um, the angular dimension for this angular part, uh, angular tolerance and I need to give a limit tolerance. So how to do that? So first of all, you, you need to define the uh, dimension for this. So let's change the units, the original units in which it is so it's mm. So now as you know to give angular uh, dimension like for this angle click this line click this line so that you can get the angle okay so these are the dimension which i need to define in order to get this geometry and the height this one so i have defined all this thing so now let's go how to give the limit tolerance so you need to first click the dimension on which you need to give limit tolerance click on the dimension you will get this window dimension window here go to tolerance click on limit so now what is the limit tolerance it will define the maximum and the minimum limit of that uh, part or the geometry so this so the length which is 1.5 so now we can define the maximum length and the minimum length for this 1.5. So let's say the maximum length we can go is 1, uh, 1.52. So the positive limit is 0.2 and the minimum uh, length we can go is uh, 1.48. So the okay, so we have defined the positive limit which defines that the maximum dimension we can go is 1.52. And let's say the minimum dimension we can go is 1.48 so the tolerance value the negative tolerance value is 0 0.02 so click on uh, right button so now as you can see you have, you have defined that uh, limit tolerance now how to define angular tolerance click on any angular dimension in a geometry if you have go to tolerance here you can see there are um, basic bilateral limit symmetric so let's you can whatever adapt type of tolerance you need to define you can select that one we are going to see symmetric tolerance and now you can give the degree let's say 0 0.05 and if you click on check mark you can get the angular tolerance like this so in this way you can define all these uh to is two, two different types of tolerances values limit tolerance and the angular tolerance and i have made uh i have made already a video for a bilateral basic tolerance you can see on that on my channel so this video will be helpful to you like hit the like button and subscribe wise man thank you